Welcome back to Top Movie Recaps. Today I'm going to explain a film called Angel. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. Some time ago Louise was a magician's assistant, and being in love with a mysterious man she had got pregnant. In a while, the man has disappeared forever, and the woman gave birth to an invisible boy. Getting in the name as my angel, I think the child is secret, she tried to protect him from the cruelty of the outer world. Taking care of her son, the woman raised the invisible boy independently. Taught him to eat with a spoon, write, and speak. Growing up, the boy has begun to wear his mother's shoes and dresses. One evening, the woman tells her son about the place where she used to live when she was a child, the little hut by the lake seems to be a great house. Now they live in a mental ward, due to Louise's illness. The boy has never left the room, so he does not know what the pain looks like and dreams of learning how to swim. One day the boy looks out of the window and sees a girl from the neighboring house. The boy understands that other people cannot see him, but Madeline seems to be looking at him. In the evening, he watches the red-haired girl playing the piano and decides to get to know her. The next day, Angel gets out of the room and leaves the hospital. When he got to his neighbor's backslashes calls him, it turns out that she is blind, but she hears the boy, due to her highly developed sense of smell. Deciding to meet her, the boy says that his name is my angel. Madeline touches his gentle skin and wants to play with him. Since she has no friends, he does not get on with anyone except his mother, so he agrees to hang out with the girl. Doll coming back to the ward, the son tells his mother that he has made a friend. Louise is depressed, and her health is constantly deteriorating she is very worried that she might die and leave her son alone. The mother understands that, the child will not survive in this hard and cruel world looking in the mirror the guy hopes to see his reflection but this does not happen do I really exist that is a question that counts he torments the boy meeting Madeline again he lets her touch his hand and face the girl can't see the boy but considers him handsome because he has very delicate skin playing hide and seek she usually finds her friends because he has a special smell that cannot be confused it is much easier for him to find the girl because she does not manage to hide well Angel and Madeline gradually grow up spending more and more time together, and Louise's condition gets worse. She cannot recognize her son and does not talk to him. As the kids get older, they remain inseparable and play in the garden all day long. Madeline asks the boy to look into her eyes, despite her blindness. She feels his gaze and the warm feeling inside her heart. Soon they fall in love with each other and kiss for the first time. The girl cannot see herself in the mirror and asks the boys to describe her appearance. The invisible boy, who is in love, describes a charming red-haired girl. When visiting his mother, the boy tries to talk to Louise, and read the book before she goes to bed. His mother pays less and less attention to him and finally stops communicating with him. Walking in the rain, teenagers feel free and dream of a happy future. Soon Madeline tells the boy that she has to leave for several months, she has to undergo surgery, and the girl would finally be able to see her beloved. The angel is afraid of that and wants to admit that he is invisible. Try not to destroy the relationship. He keeps the secret and spends the whole week with the girl until she leaves. When leaving, Madeline says goodbye to her boyfriend and promises to come back in a couple of months. Realizing that, their relationship will never be the same, Angel asked the girl not to forget him and all the feelings that they have for all these years. After losing his beloved, the boy cries in the rain, spends time with his mother, who plays in the yard of his girlfriend's house. After receiving the letter, he finds out that Madeline needs some operations. Therefore, she is not going to return as soon as she had promised. At the same time, the boy Mather passes away, having lost everyone he loved. The angel decides to leave for the lake house, Louise has told him about. While at the spot, the boy finds out that that is only a small hut, which is completely unlivable. When looking at the pain for the first time, the guy dreams of meeting his beloved. Waiting for his girl to come back, he decides to stay in her house. Breaking the window, he climbs in and takes Madeline's to spend. Days, weeks, and then years have passed. The little angel grew up and has become a man still dreaming about meeting his girlfriend. One day, the guy finds out that Madeline has finally returned. Running to meet his beloved he sees her, the girl who has regained her sight, stares out the window, but does not see the invisible guy. Realizing that, their relationship would not be the same, the angel decides not to open up to the girl, but keeps quietly watching her. She is trying to find her loved one, but in the hospital, they report that they have never had this patient, and Louise lived in the ward with the window she had looked at. 
finding his mother's grave to leave the letter, and asked for a loved one to meet her. At night, the guy sneaks into her bedroom and looks at Madeline's breasts while she is sleeping. At some point, she seems to notice his presence, but looks through him, feeling a strong attraction to the girl. He writes a response letter and offers to meet with him. But only on one condition, her eyes must be closed. Agreeing to have a blind date, Madeline closes her eyes and waits for her loved one in the garden. When they meet again, they spend time together and talk about the good times that used to have. Having strong feelings, Madeline agrees to a blindfolded relationship and makes love to the invisible guy. He is gentle with the girl's breasts and they come together. Without seeing her partner, she enjoys his touches and kisses. In the evenings, the couple talks and Madeline tells the guy how she has her sight, it was something special, because before the operation, the objects seemed flat to her and existed only in her hands. Seeing the world, she realizes that it is much larger and more voluminous. Looking at herself in the mirror for the first time, Madeline thought she had met some other girl, and as she came closer, she realized that it was a reflection. When preparing a surprise for his girlfriend, the guy asks her to close her eyes. Taking the train, they leave for an old house by the lake. The here angel wants to explain everything to the girl, but he is pretty weak to do it. Madeline loves the guy, but she wants to look into his eyes. Realizing that it is impossible to stall no more, the guy agrees to show himself this evening. When she comes into the bedroom, the girl sees her beloved hiding under the bedsheet. She closes her eyes and lets him touch her hand. Feeling the touch, she throws off the sheet and sees nothing. Realizing that he is invisible, the girl gets hysterical and cries all through the night. The angel doesn't want her to suffer and leaves a note. In the morning Madeline wakes up and calls the guy, but he does not respond. Noticing the letter, she finds out that her beloved has decided to leave her forever. He does not want to torment the girl, and is ready to forget about her, just to make sure she is happy. She is not ready for parting and has accepted the guy the way he is. Trying to find Angel, the girl searches the house and the garden, remembering his mother's house. She closes her eyes and walks down the familiar route. When she comes to the lake, Madeline calls the guy, but he hides in the bushes and does not respond. Not reckoning the distance, Angel falls into the water and starts to drown. The girl jumps into the lake after him and finds him by air bubbles. Pulling her beloved, assured, she saves him. Madeline still feels the gaze of her beloved and looks straight in his eyes to let him feel the warmth inside his heart. She sincerely loves Angel and is ready to do anything to stay with him. The couple comes back home and tries to find out how Madeline could see her beloved. To do this they hang translucent curtains all around the house. Make the guy. Wear some ringing bracelets and put some makeup on him. Soon, the couple has a child who does not inherit the parents' problematic genes. The couple decides to make a living using the invisible guy superpower. They organized a performance and show some levitation tricks. Trying to fulfill Angel's childhood wish, the girl teaches him to swim. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos. Oh, 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 oh,